In this video, I'm going to show you an example of why you should stay still, not move up right after you make your, your kill, and scan the area. Here's a, a lone boar. He's feeding in what used to be a hay field. It's down in a river bottom. The river is right behind those trees, as you can see in the, the back. It's very thick. He's actually in one of the clearest spots in this, in this field. As you'll see here in a minute, other animals totally disappear, even with the thermal. So I take him out. Now I'm going to pan over to the left. There's hogs out there. That's about 800 yards. They're in an oat field. And then in between the hogs and myself, you'll see that black spot. That was a doe. You can just see her head above the, the thick brush. Like I said, it's nothing's been done here in this field for a while. The brush has overtaken it. She actually has a limp. Something's wrong with one of her front legs there. But that's how tall the brush is. Just you can see the top of her head and the top of her back. I'm actually on a small hill on an elevated spot looking over the bottoms here. It's also very foggy down there. Um, that's why it looks a little washed out in the background. Now as I'm panning around, I still haven't moved. I've taken my one suppressed shot. Here's an armadillo right there in the corner. And then there we have another boar that's off by himself. Now the wind is blowing from right to left. He's, he's headed into the wind right there. And as you can see, he, this stuff is so thick he just disappears again, even with the thermal and me being on an elevated spot. You see just a flash of heat there every once in a while. So I, I know he's out here. I'm using the, I accidentally hit the digital zoom and I'm trying to get back and zoom with my scope. There's the doe again. Checking on the original boar because we all know they can get back up sometimes. They're pretty tough. Now I fast forwarded about two minutes here because he disappeared. There's a rabbit. He's worked his way almost to this original boar I've shot. He can smell him. The wind, the original boar is upwind from him. And I don't know if it's a dominance thing. I don't. These boars weren't together. These boars, you know, were definitely big enough to be apart. I don't know if he's thinking that he's in his territory or what, but he's going to check it out and it's going to cost him. Now if I had to just run in there and gone to check out that other pig, I would have never seen this guy. This is why you want to check, because they will come back out after you fire, especially <coughs> the And there he goes, he's dead right there too. Two boars down, side by side. That was a bunch of burrs, you can see the burrs on the pig right here. Uh, we call them cuckle burrs down here, so I guess we'll call this video cuckle boars. But this was a good example of why you shouldn't move right after you, you shoot, because you will have extra opportunities. Hope you liked the video. Please click like, and please click here to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.